Hey guys, this is Calico Tofu, and welcome back to Scarlet Hollows. Last episode was long, but was interesting. Anyways, just as you follow Stella and Duke in a mad dash through the woods, so too do the unearthly hollers and whispers of the nest. In the highest branches of trees and down on the forest floor, they're all around you, casual keeping pace with your all-out sprint. Oh, that looks like a deformed baby. Oh, me on a Tuesday night. Quick! My truck's down this way. I remember the accent I gave him. Oh, that's... <laughs> you can just knock him over. Look at those T-Rex arms. <laughs> You make it to the road, but three of the creatures stand between you and Duke's truck. You've stolen from them, Duke. You have to give them back what's theirs. Tofu's right, Duke. Birdie, she's part of their brood now. Is this what you want? Is this what you want, you sons of bitches? Fine, take her. Take her and leave us be. Duke. Get in the truck and let's get the hail out of here. Duke, do we have to take the road, the truck back? I can just walk. Those creatures left. I'll be fine. Stella, now is really not the time. All right, I'll do it. Well, I mean, technically they stole from Duke, so like, that's kind of a dick move. The three of you sit in silence as Duke drives back to town. The ride feels both like an eternity and like nothing at all. Eventually it's over, and you find yourself outside of Stella's house. Thanks for taking me home, Duke. Anytime, but Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what were those things? I have no idea. I've never heard of anything like them, but I got tons of footage. Nothing really clear, but it's a start. Hmm. I better go check in with Boo. He'll be worrying about me. You and your friends stay safe. Looks like those things didn't follow us, but, well, no point in talking about the butts. Just look out for yourselves. Take care, Duke. Mm-hmm. And there you are, back in town, away from the woods, with no one but Stella in sight. Your phone buzzes in your pocket. Now that you're back in town, you must, must finally be getting reception again. Oh, Tabitha, and 13 text messages. I think, <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. Uh, caller. Go straight to voicemail. Text her that you're okay. Your message sits unread. Yikes, Tabitha has been blowing up my phone. I guess she must be worried about you. God, what a mess this night's been. Why on earth did you ask Duke if you could walk back? That's a fair question. I've had just some experiences with cars. I don't know how to drive them, and I don't like getting into them unless it's literally a question of life or death, which I guess tonight was. Sorry if I weirded you out. What do you make of everything we saw? I don't know. I've, I haven't I have seen or read about anything like this, although maybe we've got to find out more about those things. The library doesn't open up for a while, so any real research will have to wait until morning. Yeah, I see. It's just closed because of the COVID outbreak. That being said, there is someone in town who might have some useful information. Her place isn't far. We should head over now before it gets any later. Uh... Uh, I, I want to say let's do it, but like, after that, family, I should check in on Tabitha. My friend's place is on the way back and stopping by shouldn't take long. You sure you don't want to stop first? I know I wanted to head up the, that mountain road by myself after everything that's been happening tonight. Well, when you put it that way, I can't say no. Cool, let's go. The general store. This must be where Stella's friend Kanika lives. I hope she's still awake. Tofu? Jesus! 
is whoa you and stella turn to see a shadowy figure staring at you from across the road you didn't hear it approach welcome home mystical whoever this is its presence has chilled you to your soul before you can respond the door behind you swings open a middle-aged woman stands in the entry ray go home wayne i can't help you tonight you look back and the figure is already gone disappeared into the, the shadow of the night I'm sorry about that, Stella. Some people just can't be helped. What brings you out here so late? And who is this? Hi, Mrs. Forsrith. This is Tofu. Is it okay if we come in? You and Miss Sorf Forsrith uh, briefly lock eyes. So blinding and overpowering is her aura that just looking at her f feels like staring directly into the sun. Her gaze pierces entirely through you, and in that moment, you feel wholly known. And then the moment passes, and you see only a middle-aged woman before you. Of course, of course. You in luck. I just put on water for a hibiscus tea. And for goodness sake, you call me Silby. Sybil. Sybil. Silbil. You're an adult now, after all. Oh, what a cute old lady. Welcome to my little nook. It's finally, f it's nice to finally meet you, Tofu. I'm sorry, sorry to hear about what happened to your mother. Vivian was such a lovely soul. She's been sorely missed in the holler. And now poor Perlene is gone as well. Do let me know if there's anything you need while you're in town. Who was that outside? Just a very sick man. You don't need to worry about him. You know my mom? Of course, dear. She was a good friend of mine for many years. She was such a lovely woman, of course. You should come by sometime. I, I can delight you with savor unsavory tales of her youth. Uh, how did you know that she died? Oh, Perlin was a chatty woman. Not much went on that I couldn't get an ear full of... Bless her. Uh, I never met Perlin. I never met Perlin. You don't have to pass on your condolences to me. I have no feelings for the woman. Ah, huh, that's fair, child. But it seems like the right thing to do. We need your help. Ah, oh, yes, I suppose pleasantries can wait for another time. What's got you here so late? You seem troubled. You know about weird stuff, right? Unexplainable stuff? I'm not sure I follow, do you? I know which oils to use for which aches. I know a bit about it, classical spiritualism. Just what sort of unexplainable things are you talking about? We ran into some creatures into the woods. These things. I don't even know how to describe them. They're, they kind of reminded me of bald babies. With really long legs. And arms. It's kind of scary. Hmm. I can't say I know much about local wildlife. <laughs> That's not wildlife. <laughs> My daughter has o always had a brighter gift for nature than I. This this isn't a local wildlife, Miss Forsyth. Here, I can show you. Stella pulls out her camera and tilts the screen towards Silbu. Ah, one of your little videos. Where was this? Up in the mountain to the northwest. Within the town limits? Yes. I see. Is there a way to make the video bigger and louder if you can? I need to plug the memory card into my computer. I should go back and get mine. No need. Kanika should still be awake. She can lend us hers. You better come with us, Stella. I'm sure she'll be more than willing to help a friend than her nosy mother. Kanika, come on out. We could use your little help. What, Mom? Oh. Hey, Stella. And Gretchen! Who's a good potato? And a stranger. What are you doing in my house? I was helping Tofu- Wait, no, I'm Tofu. <laughs> I was helping Stella with a video and something terrible happened. Tabitha's cousin? Yep. Sweetie, we were wondering if we could borrow your laptop. Still and her friend have a video to show us. It's really important, Kanika. Okay. My room's a bit messy. 
I'll just bring it out here. Oh, pretty. Heads up, Kanika. This is graphic. There's a lot of dead and sick animals on the recording. You know, I have a harder stomach than any of our friends. I'm pressing play. Silence washes over the room as the video plays. Stella, what the hell is this? Sailor Moon! Anime, yes. I'm sorry either of you had to see this, but Tofu and I have no idea how to make heads or, or tails out of it. S Stella, are you, are you okay? Did you get hurt? I'm fine. I'm really, I'm okay. I'm main silent. Unfortunately, if these creatures are what I think they are, the two of you are embroiled in something quite sinister. My granddaughter calls them Ditchlins, and they are a terrible omen, a sign of great suffering and destruction to come. Mom, come on. Whatever is doing this is serious. Stop scaring Stella and Tofu with this tally tallypo crap. Kanika, sweetie, let your mother talk. The creatures themselves are harmless to people, despite that grisly scene in the woods. But just as f birds flock before a storm, the ditchlings congregate where tragedy is soon to fall. To see one is to be cursed by fate. To see so many in one place is... Jesus, Mom! <laughs> I've clearly had a rough night. They don't need this. It's okay, Kanika. This is helpful. Stella, wh whatever these things are, they aren't magic. We still can't rule that out, not after what we saw. But fine, let's focus on what we know. Whatever they are, they're doing something to these animals. You saw that nest. What were those growths? Don't buy this magic non-stuff. They're making more of themselves, probably. Maybe they're making more of themselves. Yeah. Maybe that's what we're seeing here, some sort of parasitic larval stage, part of their life cycle. But I don't want to jump to any conclusions about this, not out here. Not without doing some research or talking to a biologist. I'm sure there's a rational explanation that'll clear all this up. Oh dear, I forgot entirely about the tea I put on. Let me fix you up a couple of cups. It'll soothe your nerves. I don't know, it's getting late and I should let Tofu get some rest. I ran them ragged today, and all the hiking and running through the woods in terror. Oh, I forgot. I went by they, them in this. <laughs> uh... You don't have to leave on my account. I can stay up. This is important. <laughs> okay, maybe it's that I'm eager to go home and start doing some research. I'll ask around on my usual forums to see if anyone has information on ditchlings. Is that what you call them? That's right. You should go on home and try to do, get some rest. Don't stay up all night online. Let me give you some of my house-made peppermint tea to go. It really does those wonders to soothe the soul. Bye, Stella. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And call me if you need to talk. Thanks, Kanika. I'll see you. Bye, Tofu. It's excellent ice or warm, though with the nights getting chillier, warm will probably be the best. Helps wake up the bones. Be careful out there, both of you. <laughs> she closes and locks it behind us. Alrighty, let's head back home. My home, I mean. Wait, no, 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 no. What about going to Tabitha? And here we are. You're welcome to stay the night if you want. As a conductant... I should probably go home and check on Tabitha. That's sweet of you. Are you sure you're okay heading back up the mountain alone? Soba says those things were harmless. Yeah, she said that those things were harmless. I think I'll be okay. It's not far. Well, I won't stop you if you really want to get back. Here's my number. Call me when you get there, okay? And good luck. I'll see you tomorrow. As soon as I get... Yeah, we're in this together. Yeah, we are. 
Stay safe, buddy. Heard you can romance one of these char- any of these characters, and honestly, I don't... Nah. This game is here, a point of click in the... Yes, overwrite that. I know I could use two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and quick, but I don't really feel like that. Okay, you begin the long hike back up the Scarlet Estate alone. Continue down the path. Almost home. Continue down the path. You made it. Your salvation in sight. You made a mad dash to the door. Knock. As you raise your arm, the door swings open. Oh no, Tabitha's not our... Where the hell have you been? I texted you back. As soon as I had reception. Did you? I didn't notice. Do you know someone named Wayne? I have no idea who you're talking about. saw horrible things tonight <laughs> with this girl I met to find some cryptids, and a lot of really terrible things happened. Ah, so you met Stella, then. Uh, that explains everything, and she's gotten you all worked up. I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, you don't want to hang out? I'm all hyped up on adrenaline from tonight. I would just love to hang out for a little while to cool down. No, I'm not going to hang out with you. It's late. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Don't do anything stupid while I'm asleep. Just go to your room and sleep. Okay, good night. You're alone in the estate. The sound of the wind whistling through the house gives you an uneasy feeling in your gut. It's probably best to turn in and try to leave the night behind you. Oh, for some reason, I was like, what are we looking at? As soon as you settle in your room, you remember that Stella asked you to call her once you got back. Well, I mean, you promised. Hey, how are you? Did you make it back all right? Yep. How are you? Are you okay? Totally fine. I mean, as fine as I could be, I guess. You don't have to worry about me. Go get some Z's, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. From the relative safety of this uncomfortable bed, the events of the past evening seem like something that happened to someone else. Though you can still clearly picture the terror you felt in those moments for now. You're safe and you're warm. Eventually, the sun will rise and chase away the monsters and make them seem like nothing but a bad dream. Maybe tomorrow, if you're lucky, you'll wake up in a normal world and have a boring week in the mountains with your sour-faced cousin. It's a nice thought, but deep down you can't help but worry that things will only get worse. Good morning! Oh, so cool. I wonder, I think, did we just finish episode one? Dude, this game is sick. It's all hand drawn. I can't draw like that on my life. Wait, who's that? Is that me? Wait, what the heck? Wait, what? Who died? And what's what's that? What's that hole? Oh god. <laughs> Things are going insane, man. Well, not going. Things are getting insane. Whoa, that blood scene kind of freaked me out a little because I'm like, wait a second, what's going on? Is this me? But then I'm like, this isn't our house. That does not look like the bedroom window. Hmm. Anyways. Since I don't know if... I don't know if this is the end of the episode of Monday.
This is the end of episode one. Episode two will be released on Steam in May. If you like a pre-order to a key to the full game before then or support our development by purchasing some limited edition merch, you can check out our store on Backer Kit. Dude, that'd be sick if we could pre-order the full game. If you'd like to continue this world state in episode uh, two, save my game now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there! I saved it. Continue. Oh! Wow! That was it? Um, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below. Because I think I might pre order the game. Even though it's not even close to me. <laughs> Anyways. Stay safe out there. Glad vaccines are being produced. And, uh, yeah. Bye!